But the real solution to this particular mystery is that the planets are worlds, that the Earth is one of them, and that they all go around the Sun according to precise mathematical laws. The prevailing view had then been formulated by Claudius Ptolemy, an Alexandrian astronomer and also the preeminent astrologer of his time. Ptolemy believed that the Earth was at the center of the universe, that the Sun and the Moon and the planets like Mars went around the Earth. The Earth seems steady, solid, immobile, while we can see the heavenly bodies rising and setting every day. But then, how explain the loop-the-loop -loop motion of the planets in the sky? This little machine shows Ptolemy's model. The sphere turns, the little wheel rotates, and as seen from the Earth, Mars does its loop-the-loop. -loop. Supported by the church through the Dark Ages, Ptolemy's model effectively prevented the advance of astronomy for 1,500 years. Finally, in 1543, a quite different explanation of the apparent motion of the planets was published by a Polish cleric named Nicholas Copernicus. Its most daring feature was the proposition that the sun, not the Earth, was at the center of the universe. The Earth was demoted to just one of the planets. The retrograde, or loop-the-loop -loop motion, happens as the Earth overtakes Mars in its orbit. This Copernican model worked at least as well as Ptolemy's crystal spheres. But it annoyed an awful lot of people.